Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading Way. I'm Marilyn, and today we have two auction bags. Hope everybody is doing great. I am. I took a ride with Barry down to a job he had today that happened to be at Paso Grill, um, or actually St. Pete Beach area, and we rode over to Paso Grill and just had a nice uh, walk on the beach and I will put it in here so y'all can enjoy um, the beach. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple websites, but we bring everything to you first here on YouTube. Um, we go to our local jewelry auction, and that's where these bags are from. This is a small jewelry, a sterling lot, and this is a Victorian costume lot. So I'm going to pull it over to the side. If you see something you're interested in, just send us an email to one shadingy at gmail.com and we will send you a PayPal invoice. Um, shipping is $5 in the United States, under a pound, anything over a pound or um, outside the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. Um, I do have this ring available um, today. I believe this is an emerald, uh, a lab emerald. So I'm gonna show you on the Presidium. Scoop that up. It could be um, a spinel, but a spinel, but I believe it's a lab emerald. It is a beautiful. It is a size. Let me move this over to the side. Turn it off. I don't think we need it for a bit. It is a size eight, um, but it is gorgeous. It is, um, I think this is called an emerald cut, and it has two uh, cubic zirconias on the side. There's the lift on it, um, but it is a, a beautiful ring. Love it. And on this one, I'm going to do um, $45. Let's start with the sterling. This is a really small bag, um, so hopefully it's small but powerful. <laughs> okay. Let's get these over to the side. Here we have a bracelet. This is really a cool chain. I don't even know what this would be called. Um, I need to do my nails, sorry about that. It is marked Italy FAS 925. It is a lobster clasp. And it is eight inches. And on this one, I'm going to do, um, let's do $22. That is a really cool chain. Here we have a pair of hoop earrings. They are the kind that go through your ear and click. It is marked 925 right there. All of these have been tested. Um, that's the edges on them. And that's the sides. These are small ovals. Let me give you a size of them. Uh, it is a half inch by about five eighths of an inch. And it is about three sixteenths of an inch wide. And on these, I'm just gonna do um, $12. Okay, this one is pretty. Sterling Silver Owl. It is marked Sterling and Bow. B-E-A-U. That's a cute owl. It is Eighteen inches with the owl pendant, including the bell, being one inch 
by one half or one inch by half inch. Um, it is a cable chain, cute little thing. And I'm gonna say, let's do 15 for the Sterling Owl. Here we have a Sterling and it is marked Sterling right here on the edge, it's spelled out Sterling with a real pearl and an etched um, under cup here. And it is a tie pin and it, as I said, it's a real pearl and on this, I'm gonna do um, $18. We have this pair of earrings, which is clip-ons. Oh, see, let me put these down. I think these are going to be um, sapphires, but let's put them over to the side just in case. This one I do know is marked right here. It says UTC 925CZ. So it's cubic zirconia but isn't that pretty? It is in a gold tone and um, it is on a snake chain. It is, let's get a size. It is 18 inches, as I said, gold tone, three fourths of an inch by uh, about five eighths of an inch with a really pretty cubic zirconia um, round with four prong setting. And on this, I'm gonna say, let's do 15. And then we have these, let's see if these are glass or, um, These are black and they are signed 925. They are in a gold tone and it says 925 and it has, um, it's signed, but I can't figure out who the signature is. And I think, let's see if I can, I think it's gonna be Onyx um, here, or Obsidian, okay? Um, so I think that might be Obsidian, um, because I think this is gonna be a diamond. Yeah, okay. So the way it looks, and it's clip-ons like this, in a gold tone, um, the top one is a diamond. Let's see if I can get this come in better. Goodness, I need to do my nails. Sorry about this. <laughs> As I said, I was at the beach today. I wasn't doing my nails. Um, so this is a diamond here. And then this, I believe, is obsidian. Um, very pretty clip-ons. And as I said, they are marked. Let me see if you can see them. There it says 925 on this side. And on where it's signed, the maker, I can't make it out. It's on this side. So on these, I'm going to do um, $20 for the diamond and obsidian earrings in gold tone. And that is our sterling bag. Now we're going to do the Victorian costume lot. Victorian costume. Okay, first off, we're gonna start with this one. This is a Hobe. A fabulous watermelon, um, 
isn't that gorgeous? This is unsigned, um, but I will show you, um, I'll, I'll stick a, um, um, a signed piece uh, from online where you can see that it is a Hobay piece. Um, generally, um, let me see if there's, generally what you do is when they're unsigned, you're gonna look at the ball or a tag that's here. Um, also, if it has a pair of earrings, um, generally they own, and, and a matching um, bracelet, that's where your signatures were, were on um, just one piece out of the three piece set or four piece set. And this is just the watermelon um, uh, necklace. Um, it is on a corded chain with these um, gorgeous um, tassels with points. It has green um, rhinestones around the edges, the watermelon rhinestone or crystal on the center, and then all the detailed around the edges. Isn't that beautiful? And this is in great condition. The chain um, is a shepherd's hook. It is 22 inches with an additional two inches. And I'm going to say, let's do um, 75 for the Hobay. Gorgeous. Okay, here is the 50s Hobay watermelon crystal dangle earrings and pendant necklace. And um, here's just like ours. And if you go to the earrings, let me find the back of the earrings there you will see the name Hobay right there, tight enough, yeah. But if you go back and you go to the back of the necklace, you see it is unsigned, just like ours. This one, um, it sold um, at a um, discount. It was $2.95 for the earrings and the necklace. Stunning. Um, wish I had the earrings too, but um, I just wanted to show you that the Hobay necklace should not be signed, but it is always good to see where the signature would have been in case um, you do come across the even um, bracelet or the brooch. Um, generally, those are not going to be signed either. Um, well, the bracelet generally is signed on Hobay. So, just more information as I sit here and rattle on. Here we have um, bracelet with a safety uh, chain. Let me get it unfolded. This is needs to be cleaned. I don't think it's going to be signed. It's a um, hidden clasp. Here's our clasp. It's not cool but it does need to be clean. This is Damascene, um, and it is, there's our clasp. Let's get a size. This is a six and a half. Uh, and on this one, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do $10, because it does need to be cleaned um, so ten dollars uh, for the bracelet. Here we have a little locket, um, but it is uh, cracking here the cover or um, uh, what do you call it? the seal has um, started to peel off. It is a locket. If I can get it open, like so. Um, but considering it's peeling, I'm just going to do um, $4 on that one. This one has a lot of scratches. Um, let me give you a size on this. It is gold tone, two and a half inches by, uh, I'm going to say, 
um, one and five eighths of an inch. As I said, this is scratched up, but this could be replaced or polished up to be cleaner. And I'm just gonna say, let's do $3 on that one. Here we have a unsigned um, brass tone um, 3D owl with the um, bead in the center. And um, there's the back of it. There's the front, no name anywhere. The chain is a mesh chain on a lobster clasp. It is 28 inches with the owl being two and a half inches by one and a half inch by um, one inch. And I'm gonna say, um, let's do $9 for the owl. Um, he's cute the way the uh, black bead spins. Um, this is a brooch. It is not signed. Um, let's see. Okay, I think this is going to be faux agate. It does not test. It does have some scratches on it, um, but it is a cool um, Celtic terrapin brooch um, medieval type. I think it is bronze um, because it is not magnetic. Two and a half inches by um, one and a half inches. And I'm gonna say, let's do 15 for this one. Um, here's another one um, that matches. That is cool, that's very cool. Um, there's the bag. It is not signed, but it is in great um, detail on the back. And there's your front. This one is two inches by an inch and three fourths. Also the same thing. Um, I think it is a faux agate. It um, is such a cool piece of cabochon where it stands up. Um, beautiful, it does not test. So I'm gonna do 15 on this one also. Just stunning pieces. Now this is Jasper. Let's move all that. There's the Presidium. There it is. So that is a cool Jasper um, brooch. Um, there's the front, there's the back. As I said, no pen it could be replaced and it is a pendant. It is one and three fourths of an inch by um, two inches, it is an, a gold tone. And on that one, I'm gonna say, let's do $9. Now, this is a cool piece. This is a belt buckle, um, really light Victorian piece. Um, there's your back. This is like um, a really light metal. Um, it has been, um, it's pressed and um, beautiful flowers. I am not sure what this material is. Three and a quarter inch by two and three fourths of an inch. This could be um, What's it called? My mind just went completely blank. Uh, revival, there you go. This could be a Victorian revival piece, but it's definitely a sash um, or, or belt buckle, sash buckle. Um, and on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do, um, let's do $8. I think it is a revival piece. Here we have a really pretty shepherd's hook. It is signed. It says made in Austria. It is in an orange and gold. Um, this is going to be a choker, I believe. 12 inches with a three inch extension. 
and I thought I saw right here is a little bit of green that needs to be cleaned. So I'm just gonna say, let's do, oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna say, it doesn't look like there's any missing rhinestones at all. Um, and they are a beautiful um, orange faceted. So I'm gonna say, let's do $10 on that one. Here we have, let's see if I can find a signature. It is a brooch. Um, I don't see, oh, yep, there is a missing rhinestone right here. Okay, I found the missing rhinestone on this one, and it only has the one missing rhinestone. It is two and a quarter inch, or two and an eighth of an inch, actually, by one and seven eighths of an inch. And um, the missing one is right there, and I have it right here that fits right in. It is a point um, rhinestone just like the rest of them and I will glue it back in. These are not prong set, they are um, glued in. So silver tone and on this one I'm going to do eight dollars and I will replace um, or glue back in with rhinestone glue um, the uh, rhinestone. Eight dollars. This is nicely done. It is two and an eighth of an inch by uh, about one and seven eighths of an inch. Um, this is a pendant. That's cool. Let's see if these beads are glass. Well, I'm not sure what they are, but there's something. <laughs> um, they're right on the emerald spot. So I am not sure what these are, but they're the same hardness as an emerald. That's what the Presidium does. It shows the hardness of the um, beads, um, stones. This is not magnetic. It is one and a quarter inch by, um, no. It is two and a quarter inch by uh, one and seven eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna say $10 on that one. That's pretty. We have a coin bracelet. These are uh, foreign coins. Uh, let's see. This is one penny 1919, 1942, half penny. Um, so these are cool. This is definitely older. Um, this is before there was thumb clasp. Um, so you pull it back just on the edge. This um, has a lot of different pennies from different places. 1940s, 1941. Um, here's a Canada. So it's different locations. This is... seven inches and I'm gonna say let's do I'm gonna say let's do twenty dollars on the coin bracelet uh, we have a pair of rhinestones a uh, really pretty aurora borealis drop uh, clip-on earrings and I'm gonna say these are glass these are gorgeous faceted I'm gonna say $15 on those, and as I said, they are clip-ons. These would be amazing to make in to um, pair earrings. I have these um, cufflinks that are gorgeous. Um, black enamel, uh, unmarked that I can see. And I'm gonna say, let's do um, $5 for the cufflinks. We have, this is our last pair. These are screw back earrings. Let's see if they're signed. Gold tone. Aren't those stunners? I am not seeing a name. They are faux opal, faux pearl 
with little black beads. I don't see anything missing. And I am going to say $10 for those. There you go. What'd you think? I think these are wonderful pieces, especially the unsigned Hobay. The sterling pieces are beautiful. Um, without a doubt, I have to say I am partial to this ring and the watermelon Hobay. Stunning. Um, if you saw anything that interests you, definitely leave us um, or send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. Please leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. It helps our channel out. If you haven't already, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It is free and it really, really helps us out. So hope everybody is having a wonderful day and we will see you on the next one. Bye.